Welcome everyone to the first ever Dork Dad ranking. What are we ranking today? Uh, we are on tiermaker.com here. I am not ranking the entirety of the MCU. My goodness. Is this even MCU at a certain point? I, I, I didn't make this. I found it. Look at this. You got, you got Spider-Man 1, Amazing Spider-Man's Hulk. Hulk's over there. You got Venom, please. I haven't. I haven't seen Venom 2. All right. I'm just doing the MCO, MCU Phase 4 shows that I have seen. Wait, was there even an MCU before? Like, just Jessica Jones, just Daredevil count. I guess we saw Daredevil in No Way Home. Whatever. Anyway, Phase 4 since WandaVision, MCU, Disney Plus shows. Shows, not movies. Here we go. All right. And the ones, ones I've seen, sorry. Uh, I'll just tell you right now. I have no interest in Miss Marvel. <laughs> I, I am working through She Hulk now, and I'm having hard hard enough time with that. I'm gonna do this in order of release. Let me know what your thoughts are. Again, if you get offended, sorry, it's my opinion. So, Dork Dad Sam, if you don't like this list, too bad. Um, you can make your own list, but follow along. Let's let's have some fun first. Gonna go in chronological release. We have Wandavision. Where are you? <laughs> All right, Wandavision. Let's and this is this will also serve. It's kind of a lump sum review for all these shows because I can't bring myself to review them all individually, nor recap each episode, which I started to do with Wandavision. I, I don't. Anyway, I think I started to do that with Wandavision. I don't know if I had a conclusion. Who cares? Only look forward. WandaVision, I, I, I liked it. It's all right. So everyone's complaint was that it started off slow and weird. And knowing what we, you know, you should know, Age of Ultron. Knowing what we know about WandaVision, Wanda, she can uh, manipulate, you know, the mind, certain things. So you had to have known. Okay, the something is going on here. Vision isn't there. There were glimpses of. Uh, some dark stuff, like when the guy was choking in the beginning, when we saw like dead vision, we saw dead Pietro, and then it pieced together and went like into the past with uh, was it Maria Rambo, Monica, not Monica. I am so sorry, I've totally forgotten about. Let's 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 uh, let's let's Google Maria Rambo. So we go back in the past with. Oh, I guess Monica. That's her daughter. We go back in the past with Monica. She catches up to the present of what's happening in WandaVision. Tries to bust in. Oh, sorry. My only complaint. You got to see some dark dead material. My only complaint here, which bleeds over into Doctor Strange, is that basically Wanda was a villain. Um, she faced no repercussions. She... I don't care what I don't care what you say. She was coping with the not not coping, but she was coping with the loss of Vision, created some fake children, enslaved an entire town. Now, if she didn't know what she was doing, that'd be one thing, but she does it. And then Agatha comes along as if it's like it's like uh how do you make a villain less of a villain? You just have someone come someone else come in and have them be more evil. There you go, that fixes it. And it's like Agatha wasn't if Agatha had succeeded, she would have like freed the town. Think about that. So uh, Agatha comes along. They try to play it up as she's a villain. Vision fights himself. It's weird. But then it just ends, and it's like, okay, well, it, you could say it as there was there were no heroes there. It's just a sad story about uh, uh, Wanda. That was the end, and she flies away. Nobody. Come like Shield doesn't care. Is Shield around? None of the other Avengers show up. Even in the Doctor Strange movie, he's just like, meh, no big deal. These people had like lost access to their families for weeks and months. But no, it's all it's all good. So entertaining, yes. Um, I will give it that. But different points in the show is another story. So these rankings may change as I throw things up here. Next, all right, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This show, I'm sorry, it was boring. 
um, I think, uh, what was it? So it's like the first episode drew you in with a huge action scene. Uh, and then you know, we know what happens. Like they, they try to make a new Captain America. I'm like, hmm, that could be interesting. And it ends up going to uh, Sam Wilson, which uh, everyone knows the spiel. I like the Falcon character. And I wish they would just let the Captain America go away. The moniker of Captain America. I just save it for Steve Rogers. And don't give me this like other people have been Captain America. What ends up happening, I wish there was more conflict here. It's like Bucky, uh, we know Cap gave Sam the shield. But he doesn't want it. And Bucky wants it to go to the right place. But he doesn't even care to get it. And I think, again, comic normie here. I think there was there were moments where Bucky at the Captain America title, and we all know Sam gets it, other people have had it. This other Joe Schmo gets it for a little bit. He gets the super soldier serum. Um anyways, you know, there's this stuff about like and at, at a certain point I was like, I don't care. Like Sam is Sam's family was struggling financially. Uh, but it's like, well, do you get paid as an Avenger? Why not? <laughs> like, nobody's asking this stuff. And then, um, uh, what? And then he finally accepts becoming Captain America. Uh, there's like a terrorist group and he confronts the girl at the end, but he sympathizes with her. And I'm just like, I'm like, can there just be a villain that's just evil for the sake of evil? Like what, what happened to good old, uh, well, like a Thanos. Like we know no, he's a bad guy. And Darth Vader. Like Thanos there was no redeeming Thanos. We just got rid of that guy. Uh who else? Scar. Uh uh I don't know. Anybody else in the old MCU? Back when like villains were like, mm, that's a bad guy. Obviously that's an evil bad guy. But um I don't know. The show just kind of fell flat for me. Some of the dialogue was like yawn. Um I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. I, I'm i pretty sure there's going to be more, but they renamed it to Captain America and the Winter Soldier. And I'm like, whatever, man. So just out of sheer not as excitingness, boredom is why it ranks solo for me. All right, next. <laughs> okay, Loki. This one's going down here. Talk, so let's let's go over Loki really quick. They quickly obliterate the character of Loki and very in the very first. So this is still Loki from the Avengers, evil Loki. So they just, they just take him out of there and they go, here's what happens in your future. Makes him cry. And he's like, oh, well, I will help you now. And that's it. <laughs> and it's like, let's introduce you to this. We got to find a version of you. It's a female Loki. She's better. And I'm just like, come on. Like, it's just, it's just lame. And they just treat, like, Loki goes from this cunning, cool god of mischief to just a uh, lame joke that is not funny. So, it's, it, it was just bad. Um, and then it, it throughout, it was like, you had the, uh, what was it, the TFA? Um, and you had the like heads of the TFA, but it turns out it wasn't them. And then, uh, wait, is that right? Loki and TV time variant TVA. Okay. Sorry. So it turns out it's not these three serpent creatures in the TVA and they go into the next part and it's like Kang and it's like, but it's not the real Kang and he sits down to talk to them and then, and then. Female Loki and Loki fight, and uh, female Loki wins, and but real Loki gets in front, and he puts a knife, like blocks her knife with, <laughs> with his neck, and it was just a mess. But then she kills that Kang anyway, which creates the multiverse or breaks up the multiverse. See how see how convoluted this is, and then it ends. Loki gets out, and he meets Morbius. Morbius. Whatever. He meets uh, Owen Wilson again. But it's a different variation. So it's like, oh, confusion. I'm just like, 
like come on like we we are i'm sick of these shows without a protagonist you just have like a goofball running around i mean th- think back like if if you had finished watching the avengers i'm sure everyone has a villain that they like but if you finish watching the first avengers and you're like oh man that loki means business and you come to this and you're like well that loki is absolutely gone uh this is what happened and it's it's just it was just very very disappointing blah so that gets down there if 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 i were doing all these movies and i had space for the eternals i'd throw that down there too so but anyway um moving on loki did not like moving on though we have what if where are you what if I plan this ahead of time? That's the question. So we had what if. Uh, I will find it. I will find it. We had what if. And I will say that ranked higher. Oh, here we go. I will say that ranked higher. Because some of the episodes were great. So I'm not going to spend too much time on each episode although I could look it up now, but um, it's like some are really good. Uh, why not? Why not? Why not Google this and figure it out? Some are very good. Some may my eyes fall out of my head. I, I rolled so hard in the back of my head. They fell out. Uh, it's like you had the, you had captain Britain should have been, I don't know why it's captain Carter. Like it's not captain Rogers, but anyway, Captain Britain, that was a pretty interesting take on it. Uh, T'Challa's Star-Lord, I was like, eh. Uh, the one, okay, the one where Hank, where it's Hank Pym running around taking out the Avengers, that was like, see, this is what I'm talking about, like where it's right down the middle. This and the Doctor Strange episode, those were really heart-wrenching. It's like you had, you had Hank Pym going around taking out the Avengers and it's like the the hard part is like they can't even see what's happening. And then you had Doctor Strange continuously losing um, Christine and trying to like do whatever he can to get her back, but ends up working. But then he destroys his own reality, which is really sad. Uh, you have the what of zombies, also sad because it's like everyone, it's like you know any other zombie apocalypse, you keep losing everybody. Um, Killmonger and Tony Stark made you think a little bit. It's like if the wrong person got a hold of the right technology. All right, the one that annoyed me, I discussed this in a Thor talk, but like Thor being an only child and him being an absolute moron. I'm like, what? All right, to all my only children out there, how do you feel about being a spoiled brat that is a dork? Because that's what they're saying about being an only child. I don't know if it's like, what if, what if that, what if only Thor was an only child? Because that's what Thor would become without Loki. But Loki's still in the story. I thought they just weren't going to have any Loki at all. But Loki's in there and he's an ice giant, frost giant. But they're friends. I'm like, so what's different here? I don't know. Uh, But again, so we had some highs, some lows. The, the two, what am I doing? Let me put this. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like this better. Sorry, WandaVision. So the last two episodes, or Ultron one, that was terrifying. So it's like Ultron actually got a hold of Vision and became Vision and was like this wrecking ball destroying multiple realities, even to the point where The Watcher had to fight him. And he broke his own vow to not interfere. I must not interfere. So those last two were pretty solid. Actually made me interested to see more in another season, which I think is going to happen. So looking forward to that. All right, next, Hawkeye. So sorry, people. I actually liked Hawkeye. Why? A, uh, A few reasons. One... They did not completely dismantle Hawkeye, the character. 
and uh, it was very, we don't know what's going to happen, but it was very seamless as far as passing the torch on. Um, so you had Kate Bishop come in, but Hawkeye still stayed in the fight, and he, they're fighting to like get rid of the Ronin persona and fighting other people along the way. But it's like Hawkeye was, he was like never, he's losing, like, spoilers. The only thing that's happening to him is he's losing his hearing. Uh, so he's losing his hearing, he's trying to get rid of his Ronin past. So he's having to start to rely on, you know, he needs help here. And Kate, she is a good archer, but there are plenty of times where Clint has to, like, kind of, put her in her place and say, listen, you're not there yet. But then at the end, they, they kind of meet up and they, that's, that's, that feels so good. People can say it's boring. They also, I guess they treated the kingpin terribly, but, um, people will talk about, how, you know, how boring it is, but I feel like it's like the, the true essence of passing the torch. This seems to be the only one, uh, I feel so far that was done well. I mean, I'm not including the movies in this, but I think this, for me, this may be one of the more argued points here. Ranked better than WandaVision here. So, I liked it. And he got to see his family again. So, it was cool. So, Hawkeye. All right, Moon Knight. How do I do this? Because I really, I, I, I don't, I feel bad. I can't put anything in like superior, but I, I like Moon Knight. Um, I guess we're almost done there. I like Moonlight much more than the other stuff. Hard to say. That's a hard thing to beat. But um, well, Moon Knight. Uh, I didn't know. I I, I keep saying that. I don't know much about the comics, but that kind of gives me an advantage because I have been a fan of Marvel for a long period of time. I only had like one or two comic books in my life. But it gives me the viewpoint of someone that can sympathize with someone that knows more about the comics, but I'm also kind of standing at it from my only MCU viewpoint. So I didn't know much about Moon Knight at all. Um, and then he comes in and I, I didn't want to look up the spoilers too much. I wanted to let the show do it for me or not uh, spoilers as far as the character development for Moon Knight. So watching it by myself without that reference, I was very curious. I'm like, I'm like, what part is the real person like, and who would like, is Moon Knight one of the personalities? And then there was, a. Uh, Oh man, don't remember their names, but I thought it was uh I thought it was Moon Knight and then Mark Spector and uh uh other guy. So I thought it was the three, but it turns out that it was um was it Mark? I apologize. I did not do any homework here, but Mark and uh, what's his name? Mark, 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 and somebody tell me somebody line, please give me my line. Uh, whatever. Mark and other guy until I figure this out. So it was, uh, I forget what it was going, but it was just two of them, one of which was created to, to deal with being, uh, I guess you could say abused by his mother. And then the original had the opportunity to become Moon Knight. So it was, uh, uh, man, not Jake Lockley. Cause that's what you see at the very end. Hold please. Ah, uh, let's see. Blah, blah. Stephen Grant. All right. So I thought it was like Moonlight, Stephen Grant, and Mark. But it turns out it was like Mark with Moon Knight and Stephen Grant that eventually got Moon Knight powers. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, everyone was concerned with like bait and switch, which never happened. It was like 
uh, his Mark's wife, former wife, came in and helped him out. Not like flat out took his place. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I, the YouTube world, I sympathize with a lot of people, but you also have to wait till the facts come out. That was a situation where I feel like it was botched. Everyone was gonna was complaining anyway. So the personality differences were handled very well. I mean, uh, Oscar Isaac, <laughs> you cannot ask for a better act acting. You know what? This is going up here. Why not? Uh, if you disagree with this list, let me know. But like that, with contained within this, this is what I think. Um. So yeah, the personalities were there. The I love Egyptian stuff, and it was very unique. And it was like th this was. I mean, think about it. Aside from later on, She Hulk and uh, Miss Marvel, the these this was the first to be like a completely contained within itself recent phase four MCU character all within a TV show. Not a, came out of a movie, but a TV show. And I think it was handled very well. So that's all I'll say about that. Uh, what else do we have? Um, Miss Marvel. Sorry. I'm just putting it. I hate to do that, but I'm putting it down there because I, I don't feel like watching it. At least not yet. Um, and then She-Hulk. <sighs> I don't know. I can't pass judgment on that yet. But I'm just going to stay there. So that is my so far list. I wanted to do one for the shows, one for the movies. I'll do that later on. Uh, I may wait. I don't know. It's like you don't have to. You don't have to see everything to know if it's going to be bad. If everyone gets on a train and it smells bad. You don't have to go in. I don't know why train. Maybe because I like the phrase train wreck, but you don't have to go in to also say, it probably smells bad. I don't want to go in there. Just to have someone say, well, you haven't been in there yet. You don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, if people have told me the room is a bad movie, I'm not about to sit down and waste an hour and so of my time just to watch it, just to make sure, just to make sure. No, you don't have to do that. So, that's my so far list. Let me let me just take this out to be fair. Uh, let me know what you think. She-Hulk is coming out of the pipeline, but it may just be blandness. Maybe not as bad as Loki because that was insulting, but like maybe in this uh, Falcon Winter Soldier range. Yeah. You know what also about the Falcon Winter Soldier that made it rank so poorly is how much expectation I had. WandaVision, I had no idea. Loki, I'm like, I don't know, whatever. But, like, that's the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, man, with Captain America in the background. Like, that should have that should have hit a little bit harder than it did, but it didn't. So, let me know what you think. Long video. Thanks for watching. Bye.